and we're back. Uh, if you're new here, I'm EJ, and this is the Taylor's Talk Show. We got guests from all over Taylor's to come in and talk about whatever. And uh, today's episode, we got a little something special for you guys. Typically, we get two students to come in and talk about whatever, but um, in conjunction with Open Day Week, we're getting a little more experience and wisdom on this show. Today, we're not only having a student as a guest, but also a lecturer. <laughs> Um, so uh, this will be interesting. Um, we'll get to see different perspectives and insights to what some lectures may have because sometimes students, we may not see the bigger picture and I guess it's just important uh, that we get that uh, different outlook. Let's cut straight to the chase. Let's have over our Taylor's residents, uh, Rashida and Mr. Garrett. Hi. Hi. Let's, let's have a little warm up first. Qu first question, uh, did you always want to become a lecturer and if you weren't, what would you want to be? This one is for uh, Mr. Garrett. I haven't really thought of other types of profession, you know. Perhaps, perhaps uh, if we really think of it, uh, maybe I want to become the the Taoke of the Chao Kui Tiao shop. I don't know, I don't know. Flying Chao Kui Tiao all over. Possible. Oh, wow. Well, actually, I was raised in a family of, of teachers. Yeah, my, my, both my parents are teachers. They got progressed and then went up to become a, a headmaster and headmistress of primary schools. You know, la, discipline, uh, super duper strict at home. I, I always gonna cane one. Anything wrong, gonna cane, get the cane. Uh, so, so I've actually had education line specialist role models to look up to since I was young. So for being where I am today as a lecturer in Taylor's, the credit all goes to my parents, especially my mom. I love you, mom. Mwah. Shout out to Mr. Garrett's mom uh, if he's watching this. You're the reason why he's here right now. Okay, next question. And I think this kind of goes both ways. What are your first impressions of each other? Right? Did it turn out to be true like after knowing each other? Because obviously you guys, you guys already know each other better now. But what were your first impressions? I want to hear Sheeta's answer first. Hey, right. so basically, I have like this kind of mindset where lectures are going to be strict they're always going to be worried about your results only they're not going to care about how your life is or whatever you're doing yeah. as long as you pass so mr gary is like super different i like remember the first time when he entered the class he be like okay guys how's everyone go team go team i be like it's already the friendly environment is already there so yeah he's not what i expected him to be it turned okay. out to be better <laughs> He's like he's like a, one of those fun teachers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fun, but also like strict in the sense of like work and stuff. And that's like super important. Yeah. That, that yeah. I guess Mr. Gary, what what are your first impressions of Shida? Somewhat on the contrary for Shida. When I first saw Shida, I I thought she's a uh, she would be very active and then the voicey because because her her look is the active and voicey type. Yeah, yeah, I got that too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But then it ended up during that time. She became very quiet and, and shy in class. Uh, maybe certain reason or certain things are bugging her at that time, causing her to be not as a, a proactive and not as a noisy as she's supposed to be. Uh, but then, as time went by, uh, then then slowly we are able to see uh, her her changes, and then she began to improve and then become more active, more proactive, and and now turn out just fine. <laughs> Hey, so she's chill. She's just very, chill very person. chill. Very chill. Chillax, chillax. Oh yeah, chillax, chillax. How different are your lectures outside of school? And uh, what's like the one interesting thing about them that you just like regular students wouldn't know about? Like, like at, at home, I'm the, I'm the gardener. I'm the floor vacuumer. I, I have a vacuum and steamer at home, so it's a, it's oh, a, nice. it's a two in one, but very good exercise. Or oh, every time very after. Mm, the floor becomes very clean and I sweat a lot. Uh, and then I, I'm, I'm, I'm also probably the father who runs around the house playing chase with my five-year-old. Oh, oh. Chase, chase, chase. Sometimes when my mom is around the house, I will be the one getting scold. Not the small one getting scold. I'm the one getting scold because I may be causing the little one to fall down. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, of course. It's never the little one's fault. It's not their fault at all. Whatever. Yes. Very good, very good. <laughs> Liability goes over their head. <laughs> okay. Okay. How about Rashida? What do you? What, what's the one thing you notice about Mr. Garrett uh, outside of classes? I would say he's like a fairy godmother that you don't know it's even exists in college. 
Yeah, yeah, but it will be like fairy godfather lah. Ah, right. Oh, okay, okay. So basically, like um. You know when students have like emotional problem or something, not all lecturer wants to know what's their background story or anything. They'll be just like, you have to focus on study and everything. But Mr. Gary is different. He'll be like, okay, meet me after class. And then we have like this heart to heart talk and everything. So, Mr. Gary outside the class, it's like super fairy for me. Yeah. Class day tarik session. T T session. Mm, T oh yeah yeah because you you spill you're spilling some tea whatever. Uh, <laughs> T session. <laughs> What's the craziest experience you've had with the students and vice versa? All right, <laughs> answer. Okay, I would say like entering this program would be the craziest thing that I ever done with Mr. Garrett. Yeah, that basically that's it because um that's it's COVID, right? So we didn't see much of each other. So yeah. Yep, okay, yep, Mr. Garrett. Yep. Uh, to me, I think the 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 craziest that time was was when we celebrate classmates' birthday. Uh, so during that time, we the whole the whole gang we took out the cake and then we sang sang song and then, and then all they eat the cake a little bit and then still got a little bit of cake extra. Then we suddenly we saw the cream. Oh, and the, oh um, it's the cream finger cream. fighting. Chop 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 chop. So everyone's face will have cream and all that. And then yeah. my hair also got cream. But lucky lah, my hair is so short. That my easy to wash. You can easily just brush it off. It's fine. Uh, and then ended up the the waiter waitresses at Domino's there also. Ah, uh, how are these type of customers making a mess? So so I ended up have to go. Oh, sorry, sorry sorry. We sorry. were like the nosy customer over there. The nosy uh, customer over there. I, I we, we make sure we come another time. Buy more pizza. Don't be angry. Please keep for it. Thank you. Uh, yeah. We'll be we'll be regular customers. I promise. <laughs> <laughs> Next question: Tell us your funniest slash weirdest student ever, like you've ever met. Period. Yeah, yeah. This 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 lady suddenly come into mind. So I I remember this time during during class. So as usual, as usual, me the individual who in the class always like to disturb everybody without fail, especially those who are very quiet. I disturb more. So ended up suddenly one day, this girl come to me in front of me. So the the eyes is like a little bit reddish. So I I, I was so worried. I was kind of shaking. What in the world this young lady is gonna talk about? Ah uh? my goodness! But then after that she said, Sir, oh, oh started bursting in tears already. No, the no the tears are coming already. And then Sir, uh, 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 you you please don't please don't. Uh, what do I please do? Yo. Yo. You please don't disturb me. Huh? Don't disturb? What? What? What do you mean? But inside my head is, what in the world are you talking about? Where? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, no, I never have your phone number as well. Uh, you sh- you shouldn't be disturbing me. Uh, in the class, you shouldn't be asking me so many questions. I want to be left alone. No way. Uh, 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 I was so relaxed. Leave <laughs> the relax. Oh, it's like yeah. oh, nee, it's, uh, don't disturb you only during class only. Uh, then I uh, I apologize lah. Uh, oh yes ah. Uh, oh I'm, I'm I'm so sorry for disturbing you for for calling you to answer questions. I'm I'm, I'm so sorry for asking how are you feeling today. Uh, you got eaten lunch or not? How's the lunch? How's the water? How's the toilet? How's the temperature? How's the rain? How's the sun? I'm so sorry. I'm asking you so many questions. Okay okay. I I, I promise I will not ask you again. Uh, but I ask. Your neighbor, ah, is it okay? Ah, she said okay. Ah, then, then okay lah. Everybody happy. You guys are cool now. Ah, no problem. Then she go back right. to her seat and all that. Then, then I never disturb her already. <laughs> that is that's that's a that's a crazy story. Thanks <laughs> for that. All right. Our next stop is called "What Would You Do?" Uh, scenario. Now, obviously, lecturers and students, uh, you're probably going to make different choices. Um, you're gonna have different outlooks and, and whatnot. So let's start off, Mr. Garrett. Um, would you rather have a friendly relationship between the students and lecturer, or a plainly, completely off the board, just professional relationship? Friendly. Friendly. We mm. we do our best. We hope to get a good response. But if sometimes otherwise comes in, we will still have to accept that. Mm. But it doesn't change. How uh, uh, my attitude is going to be? I will still do my best for students. Uh, no doubt about that. What if the entire class? Uh, what if the entire class? Yeah. <laughs> the whole class. What are you gonna do? 
Are you gonna move to like different university or something? <laughs> uh, oh, that's a tough question. Then probably I will I will go with the flow. So if the entire class likes to be uh, the lecturer with the wooden face, so I will show the wooden face, sure. like a piece of wood. Ah, uh, okay. I, I don't know. I don't know. Hopefully that doesn't happen to me. Ah, oh, I pray hard. I wish you to, I'd like you to answer first. Um, to be a lecturer one day or not to be a lecturer one day? So I want to be a lecturer. Oh, yo, that's cool. Yeah, I might be become like Mr. Garrett, who knew? So you look up to Mr. Garrett pretty much. Uh, yeah. Initially, I was thinking maybe Shida is going to uh, take over the uh, her mommy daddy's business, you know? Oh, you got a business. I, I, I wouldn't know. Yeah. Uh, but otherwise, she's thinking well, yeah, possible to be an academician in the future. All right. Either way, it's a good way. Mr. Garrett supports. Mr. Garrett agrees. Yeah. I fully support. What would you do if you're allowed to teach your students one last lesson? What would that last lesson be? In that case, I will probably uh, incorporate and put into the lesson on being thankful to their family. Uh, being thankful to the family, thankful to the loved ones, and thankful to to all their friends who came across their lives and and who have helped them and made everybody stronger. Ah, uh, so that is very important. Yeah, and uh, and also another another crucial point is that uh, to live healthily. Uh, uh, and and, yeah, and don't forget to give back to the society one day when when we are able to do so. So that was your your last lesson. I feel like I was already there. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I can I, I can't feel like I'm a little touched by that a little yeah. bit. But uh, okay, uh, how about Shida? What what would be the last lecture? I guess this would be like before your graduation, um, from your lecture, the ideal, um, last lesson be. Basically, whatever Mr. Gary giving me the knowledge and everything, I still keep it until today. He he's a very caring person, so he always give this kind of like experience, oh experience sharing. Mm. Yes. Not just yes. like knowledge is also wisdom. You know? Yes, yes. And basically, I keep it until today. My weight before this is 78. And then Mr. Uh, then Mr. Gary give me an advice like, uh, I need to cut down my rice. All the white Tips things. and tricks. Tips yeah. and tricks. Using all whatever wisdom he gives to me. And right now, I'm 74. Whoa! Congratulations! <laughs> This last one, uh, we'll, we'll be playing a little game. I'll be asking one person about the other, um, and you guys would have to answer um, what do you think is the right answer. All right, whoever loses um, has to belong to the other person, belong uh, Domino's Pizza. Oh my god. All right, okay, okay. I hope I win. <laughs> no, no problem. Whether you win or I win, I will buy Domino's Pizza. Uh -huh. yeah. hey, so, what is Mr. Garrett's most embarrassing moment on campus? A, he forgets to zip after coming out of the washroom. B, he forgot to he forgets to wipe his mouth after a meal. Or C, he went into the wrong lecture theater. What do you think, Shida? I don't know whether this is true or not. I hope it's not, but I'm gonna guess A. A, so you yeah. think he forgot to zip <laughs> after coming out of the washroom? So like, because I think that would be the most embarrassing thing that a lecturer can do. Would that happen to Mr. Garrett? I am not sure, but I, I, I hope it does. It will be like pretty awesome memory. Correct no. <laughs> answer is C. You're wrong. He uh, went into the wrong. Okay, it's not as it's not as juicy as the, the, the first one. I guess you can uh, you can make up for the next one. All right. What is um, Mr. Garrett's most unique talent when working on the laptop? Is it A. Being able to sit long. B. To type fast. Or C, to stare long at the monitor. I would say B, because I remember that every time when we were in class and then when suddenly he forgot like some information in the side or something, he'd be like, <laughs> and then, like, what is that? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, okay, so you think that's the right answer? And that is, of course, correct, B. A. Okay, you get, okay, you get a mark uh, for that, a. I guess. Next one. Um, what is Mr. Garrett's favorite superhero? Ooh, okay. Um, A, is it Iron Man? Can we start? B, Thor? Or C, Green Lantern? Mm. Think hard for this one. Go back. Uh, uh, 
Uh, I think it's C. Because I think Mr. Garrett like green, if not mistaken. Oh, like green Mr. Color. Garrett likes for green. It's correct. Green lantern. <laughs> hey, you're doing good. I feel like you guys really know each other. I feel like Mr. Mr. Garrett's being like really happy. <laughs> Yeah, and Mr. Gary is always about the nature. Oh, nature. Like the flower, gardening. So I guess you like the color green, Mr. Gary. That's, that's, that's good to know. What type of movies or dramas does Mr. Gary like? Is it A, horror, B, adventure, or C, action? What do you think? I don't know whether it's B or C, but I think I'm gonna go with B, adventure. B. Adventure. You think Mr. Garrett's the adventure type? Yeah, I think Mr. Garrett's adventure type. You just right. can't see in his face. But when you get to know him, you know he's adventure kind of type. Yeah. Alright, okay. But does his taste in uh, movies match up to his personality? Let's see. Correct answer. <laughs> You're wrong. What's uh... <laughs> next four apparently? A hey, same, Mr. Oh. Garrett. Uh, I like more yeah, it like gets on your nerves and stuff, and that's I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm I'm kind of like the half fifty percent director, when whenever Ooh. I watch the horror movie with my kid, then when the scene comes up, I'm gonna tell my kid in advance. Ah, you see, ah, Papa tell you, ah, the now the monster, the zombie is gonna come up from that side of the boat, of, of the screen. You wait, ah, ah, then sounds right. Then just the, just nice the zombie come up from that side of the screen. Uh, I'm I'm the fifty percent director. Really. You just you 50%. just already know like what's coming up. Yeah. You watched like enough movies to know exactly yeah, yeah, what's yeah. gonna happen. <laughs> Wait, nice. Because I'm like, I hate horror movies because we don't know where the girls are gonna come out. But well, that's what makes it good. <laughs> I don't know why you guys are tripping. Yeah, but I won't, I won't watch horror movie. <laughs> right, okay. Last question uh, for Sheeta. What right. type of music does Mr. Garrett like? Is it pop rock? Is it classical? Or is it sentimental? <laughs> I would say classical. It's because every time when we have to do an exercise in class, he will be put on his classical music on. He'll be like, okay guys, you have to do the exercise and then I put a music on for you. And then like, you yeah, know, the instrumental. Hey. Oh yeah, like um, the Mozart? I think so. I'm I'm not a classical. Same, uh, classical. Yeah. Extra, extra. Mozart, Beethoven, uh, everything is there. You but then you have to th- think hard about this one. What if he plays a different music at home? Maybe he doesn't actually like classical music. He just he just plays it for you guys. I won't be surprised if he listened to pop rock. I won't be pop surprised. Rock? Yeah. You sure? Classical? Yeah, I will go for classical. All right, and you are correct. Hey, classical music, Mr. Garrett. Yay. Um, so you like you like know all the uh, the classical like players back in the day or whatever. Mozart. Just, just a few renowned names. Just that few. Uh, just, yeah, just YouTube, the, few, the classic. Ah, uh, yes. The one yes. easy to be located in YouTube. Um, and then uh, uh, so I always say that classical is good for your brain, especially when you oh, do yeah. exercise. My so that's why I choose that classical, yeah. Uh, recently, I've been playing like classical music while doing homework. I feel like that, that's how. Mm. I feel like I've been, I've been smarter now just because <laughs> of classical music. All right, okay, that brings us to the end of Sheeta's test. Not bad, not bad, but can Mr. Garrett do better? All right, <laughs> this one. First one, off the bat, what year did Sheeta enter Taylor's College? Is it A, 2018, B, 2019, or C, 2021? 2019, because that's the time where we launched CAT. Clear memory, I like that. Okay, but are you Lucky correct? It's just two years back. If it's five years back, then sorry lah, probably cannot remember. 2019, are you correct? And yes, she entered the 2019. Okay, that was an easy one. <laughs> Second one, okay. There's only two options for this. <laughs> Is Sheeta in a relationship? A, yes. B, no. Let's add a C. Complicated. C, complicated. Yeah, I, I don't know lah. I never asked her lah on this. <laughs> But, oh, but depending on her bubbly and active and always smile so cute uh, I think I think yes I think yes sure many guys admire her mm, that's true Shida is that correct do you got a man's no no <laughs> she don't but but a few years down the road maybe maybe in the future 
Yeah, exactly. Uh, we also so have sometimes students come complaining, Oh sir, I'm not happy. I'm very sad. I'm very upset. Hey, what happened to you? I'm quarreling. You quarrel with your mommy daddy, is it? Are you, why lah? You quarrel with my mommy daddy. No sir, I quarrel with my girlfriend. <laughs> I quarrel with my boyfriend. I, uh... Third question. What kind of vehicle does Shida use to go to college? Is it A, a car, B, a motorcycle, or C, a helicopter, slash public transport? This one I know for a fact. Motorcycle. Vroom, 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 vroom. Oh, for real? Motorcycle? Yes. Vroom, vroom, I... vroom, vroom, vroom. You already know. So, like, you've seen her on motorcycle. Though. Yep, I've seen her in action. Next question. Where does Shida live? Is it in A, Petaling Jaya? Is it in B, Pachong? Or C, Subang Jaya? Pataling Jaya. Oh, okay. She told me you before. Wait. Yes, she told me before. Pataling Jaya, yeah. Whoa, Mr. Garrett's memory. Um, is it is up to par though, into reality? Is it? And it is correct. Pataling Jaya, nice. Nah, All right, nah. Mr. Garrett. What is Sheeta's favorite midnight drink? Is it A, black coffee? B, tea? Or C, latte? Normally, the younger generation, they not so much prefer the black. Uh, normally, mm. uncle, uncle like me. Uh, okay, yeah, okay. The, old, the OGs, the OGs. Ah, uh, um, okay, then probably I will, I will choose latte, 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 latte. latte. Okay, latte is correct. Hey, whoa. Um, whoa. Oh, wow. Wait, hold up. We're tallying up the results. And Mr. Gay won. Hey, so I'll sure. be the one buying Domino Pizza. Yay! I will Yay. drink Domino Pizza. Yeah. Oh wait, you're buying Domino Pizza? Yeah. Yes. Oh wow, that's what I thought. I thought it'd be the other way around, but hey. Um. <laughs> because Mr. Gary said just that like whether he wins or not, he's just gonna buy it for fun. Oh, that's so sweet. Nice. Hey, Mr. Gary for the win. Hey, that brings us to the end of the show. Thank you guys for being on here. Thank you for uh, those watching. I'll make sure you do leave a subscribe um, and like the video. Um, tell us what uh, what are the craziest things the lecturer's ever done in your class. Uh, with that said, I'm signing off. Um, EJ uh, and Mr. Gary and Rashida. Thanks all for watching. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye.